everybody it's Kathy with Messy Cat Creations and today you'll be watching a video of a new watercolor painting of Bang Chan from Stray Kids and uh, it's going to be a little bit more fussy than normal you'll notice and I'll discuss in the video um, because Bang Chan is my bias and this is the first time I've done a painting of him um, other than his eye in my uh, Stray Kids eye series um, other than his eye that I had already done before I started doing videos, uh, I've never painted Bang Chan before. Um, I've done a couple of sketches of him, but I've never painted him. So um, I really wanted to make sure that it looked like him and um, I'm going to get to see him soon uh, next month in a concert and I'm just super excited. And uh, so the music used in this uh, Andrea created and you'll see in all of the um, description uh, it says the music is by Yablonski well that's Andrea's um, handle that she goes by online so all the music that you see that says music by Yablonski that's my wife Andrea and she's still creating music um, for the videos now this music that I'm using you've heard before if you've watched some of my other videos because um, she has been uh, creating music from being inspired by looking at my paintings. But um, in one of my last videos, I said that the painting that I was doing, it was a mixed media piece, was inspired by the song that she did. And I was so crazy about the song that she did, and it immediately made me think of Bang Chan, too. So um, it, I got the idea of this painting from this uh, music that she created so you're hearing this music that she created again because I just immediately thought of him when I heard this music so I hope you like this video and um, if you want to see more from me please like and subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you can see new videos when I put them out and I hope you enjoy here you'll see that I'm taking longer to draw than normal. I mean, I don't know that you'll be able to tell that because it's all sped up, but I am taking a lot longer than normal. And I am using my pencil to measure against the screen and against the, the paper to try to make sure I get my proportions right. Normally I don't do that. Normally I just eyeball everything because I don't care whether or not the person that I'm doing the pa painting of looks like the uh, reference photo um, so but with this one it was really important to me that it looks like Bing Chan and so I'm taking longer and I'm being more careful in this part you'll see uh, the real-time watercolor uh, I wanted to show you guys how futzy I was and how deliberate I was being in making these first strokes normally I don't show you guys real-time uh, painting because uh, I worry that you'll find it boring <laughs> with how long it takes me to actually do the painting but I wanted you to see um, just in this first layer well maybe first couple of layers in real time because uh, I love how the watercolor looks against this paper and um, I wanted to show you the different kinds of strokes that I use um, with the hair uh, I'm not being as deliberate and I'm letting big long strokes happen but when I get to his facial features I start being really anal about everything which is really unusual for me because um, not that I'm I'm not anal when I paint but um, most of the time I'm much more free with my handwork and much more free with the brushwork and in this I am just so worried about it <laughs> looking like what I want it to look like so everything every decision is uh, much more deliberate much more thought through and um, it just comes across as so futzy <laughs> which is really not how I normally do things I mean don't get me wrong it takes me a long time to do any of my paintings and and to get from A to B um, more so than some artists but this one I'm really being super futzy and super deliberate with each brush stroke and it, each brush stroke and um, where I'm putting all the shadows I want to make sure that the shadows are correct and so 
anyway, um, this real time part won't last very long and then it will be sped up. And so uh, I hope you enjoy. Now that I've got the uh, undertones and the shadows blocked out, I'm starting to come back in with this golden color and some other yellow colors um, to block in some of the highlights. Now, a lot of times when I'm doing watercolors, I'll leave um, white areas or light areas um, for the uh, hints of light or the highlights. But for this one, I actually use um, some uh, several different shades of yellow to actually show the where the light is hitting his face so that will be built up over several different layers and then I put in multiple layers of the shadow work again as well <music>
here you'll see I'm adding in some vibrant blues to the painting up until now it's just been mostly greens and yellows and you can't always tell that I'm adding blue because it's going over greens and yellows and so it just looks like another shade of green in this layer I am adding more uh, green and I am mixing the vibrant blue in with some of the greens and yellows um, directly on my palette but I did want to have some bright pops of blue along in the painting as well coming up on the end of the video soon and I just wanted to say thank you for tuning in I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions please leave them in the comments if you have any suggestions please also leave them in the comments I appreciate everybody who watches and likes and subscribes and if you want to see more please be sure to hit the notification button and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day bye